everybody, Kitsune Haruri here, and welcome to my channel. I am back with another blind box, and this time, I kind of know what I'm looking at, and I kind of don't. As far as the don't part, let it be known, I do not have Netflix. <laughs> I don't have a lot of channels. I pretty much do YouTube, and I do Prime. That's kind of it. Otherwise, uh, if the, there's absolutely nothing to look at, and I desperately need the television that goes to the antenna. Anyway, because of this, I was unaware that there is a new Sonic the Hedgehog series on Netflix called Sonic Prime. And I found out about it because, well, they put out blind boxes. These lovely things. There. This one's already coming out of its wrapper. A lot. Anyway, these big crystals I found over at Walmart. And they were in about $5 a piece. And inside this Paradox Prism capsule, there should be one figure and a Prism shard. So I'm guessing the Prism Shard is taking over for Chaos Crystal, or whatever the next thing was. Somewhere in between. I lost track. Used to be really a, a big Sonic fan, and then kind of pettered off a little bit, and then... Well, I mean, I like Sonic still. But I really like the old stuff. <laughs> anyway, uh, though I am unlikely to see this anytime soon, it does sound interesting to me, so maybe some of you can let me know. Is it any good? Um, would you recommend it? Would you say, mm, no, not on your life? You know, keep in mind I am a G1 Sonic fan, so there's a lot of stuff that stuck, went through in the middle that we all went, I don't know, but yeah, it's how it is in fandoms. But anyway, let's go ahead and get this open. Let's start with the one that already popped its papers. Um, Sonic Paradox Prism Capsule. There are eight exclusive characters to collect. Put out by Sega, Netflix, Wild Brain, etc. Ad nauseum. First of all, I'd like to say I like this container. It's just a big old crystal. It's kind of pearlescent. Lots of color to it. I don't know how well you can see the colors with my current lighting. Uh, I'm going to be doing some adjustments now that I see what it's like in here. But you gotta admit, it's an improvement over what I used to have. So, we have this big crystal. Um, okay, yeah, it just pops open at the seam, so let's do that. Carefully, I don't want to fling things to the far ends of the earth. Right, these are nice and reusable too. I might use this for a background on something. First thing I have coming out of here is a base of some sort. Trying not to look at the character yet. Paperwork. Let's see what's going on in here. Okay. Do I see Knuckles, Sonic, Tails, Amy Rose, another Sonic, Shadow, another Tails, and another Amy Rose. So, well, now we know who we're going with here. It looks like there's some 3D something or others going on here. If you look at this image on the front, it's got some of the 3D effect lines going on there. So, I don't know anything about that yet. Hmm, a lot of pirate theming, it looks like. So, let's see who we've got here. And, first of all, I've got a rather interesting looking crystal. Get it out of its little package. Very clear. It looks like it has like a paper insert to make it look like it has some center color. There's a little peg hole in the bottom. And the character that was in here, let me get him out of his paper, is Knuckles. 
dressed up like a pirate captain. See how he is there? Tricorn hat, black gloves. He's got some uh, painted details on his dreads, a captain's jacket, his tennis shoes are still tennis shoes kind of, but they've got like a boot cuff at the top. Not bad. They did not finish painting all of his details. So his little cuffs that are on his uh, dreads are not painted in the back. Kind of wish they had finished up. And he is a solid figure. There is no articulation. So, I can assume... Yeah, the pegs are sized so you know exactly where he should stand. He's got one larger one in one shoe than the other. Does not want to be on his stand, that's for sure. And the crystal had a hole in it too. And there be your pirate. Kinda nice. Let's see what else we've got. Alright, in the second one. Again, same crystal outside. The paper. Another little crystal. much looks the same as the other one. Are they identical? Not quite identical? What are we? Oh, they're the same crystal. And this time I've got Sonic. Kind of basic. Wearing black shoes. Gray cuffs black gloves and also with gray cuffs. Not very typically Sonic in those colors. wonder why they took away his red shoes. Anyway, let's get him on his stand. He seems going a lot easier. <laughs> And there he is on his stand with his crystal. I will say there's not a lot of detail painting on them. You can see there are details, they're not finished. Um, but they're not horrible. Some of the paint that is on there is a little off. But they're a good sound figure. And I don't know what the story is, but um, Sonic Piracy it is. <laughs> so, I guess I'll keep an eye out and see what else is out there. Hopefully I can get some tails. And, um, yeah. Those of you who have Netflix, check it out. Let me know what's going on. So, guys, if you uh, like what you see, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And also visit my Patreon and my Etsy page. And if you're ready for some creative content concerning dolls, then check out your doll yokai. It is getting late. It's time for... Eh, I might do one more after this. But um, guys, thank you so very much for watching. We'll see you next time. And bye-bye.